Oh, uh, you can get in. Who are you? What you mean? You are not the man in this picture. No, I I took that picture when I was in Africa. Yeah, but you can come in. Come sit down. Where are your eyebrows? Jesus Christ. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button and come on back to see. I need the numbers. Hit the share button, fam. Because I'm trying to get into the algorithm. Help me out. Hit the like button for me. And I appreciate you. And like how I always tell y'all. Always ten folds over. I do appreciate y'all guys supporting me, alright? Let's jump into this reaction. Let's go. Ooh, wait. Didn't I tell you? You back, huh? I told you. I don't make believe. I make believers. Welcome back, family. Greetings. This is Drummer Boy 1980. Hope you're having a good day. If not, you know the old axiom. Ask yourself why and remember, happiness is an inside job. It will always be. Put emphasis on always. An internal effect. Huh? Did you catch that? Let's talk about Laura Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. Because I've seen a lot of disturbing things out there floating around, right? Let's talk about it. I'm going to give my two cents. Huh? <sighs> Ladies, I don't know why y'all celebrating because you can't live vicariously through a star or some type of entertainer. It doesn't work like that for you because most of them, it don't work for them. Huh? You don't believe me? Look at Fox Soul. Oh, God. I see my numbers going down. I see my subscriber count dropping. You see Fox Soul, right? Those same women on there had the same ideology. Well, I can just get whoever I want. Like, okay. Time is not your friend. Time is your enemy. And most of you can't come to terms with that. Embrace the truth and quit fighting it. Accept the truth, ladies. You heard me. Time is not on your side. Laura Harvey at 25, she need to be finding her a husband now. Because understand something. At 25, this is the baddest you gonna ever be. Huh? The hips are sitting right. The stomach is sitting right. The memory glands are sitting right. The face don't have no crow feet, huh? No bags up under your eyes. You vibrant and all of the above, right? This is the best you gonna look. Now at 35, you not gonna be as good as you are at 25. And I know y'all gonna be upset, but get out your feelings. Listen at the truth, cause the truth will help you. I'm telling you, it's about like a snake, ladies. You have to rub up against something hard to get that dead skin off you, huh? And I'm that hard rock. I'm trying to rub up against you for you can get some truth to help you along the way. But a lot of people like to shun truth. Quit shunning truth and embrace it, all right? Laura Harvey is under a different set of circumstances. The average day Joe Blow, the average day run of the meal woman don't have the same options as Laura have, right? It's different. But Laura Harvey can hang out in the casino for too much time and she can crap out as well, huh? Shout out to TBA. She can hang around the casino and keep playing and keep playing and she gonna lose everything because the house always wins. Hmm? Did you catch it? The gamblers know exactly what I'm talking about. The longer you hang around the casino, the greater chance that you gonna lose everything. So it's best to go ahead and get your little winnings and get out. But most of y'all to sit in there until you crap out. You got tattoos all over your body. Oh God, my number's going down. You got kids in tow, huh? Your attitude is on 10. Nobody can't tell you nothing. Now why is that? You got soul ties to every guy that you have been with. 10, 12, 20, 30, 40, 50 guys. And here come a guy, a nice gentleman, that's possibly a square. He is just about his business, going to work, coming home, and you know what you will say about him? Oh, he's boring. He don't want to do nothing. Oh, God, he's boring. He's a square. He don't make me tingle. Oh, hoo wee. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, family, because I'm on my soapbox. You heard? Oh, he's a square. He don't do it for me. He boring. Then you come across a guy like Future that got eight, nine kids, 10, 12 kids in tow. And he do it for you, right? Cheating on you, got multiple women and all this good stuff. Your ideology is backwards. 
It's in reverse. The very thing that's hurting you is the very thing you want to embrace. The very thing that's taking you down the road of degradation is the very thing you put next to your bosom, to your heart. The very thing that will kill you and lead you to a dead end, ultimately, is the very thing you call excitement. That's the very definition of living on the edge, huh? Mm. Have at it and don't complain about it, right? Because every decision has a consequence. There's a cause and there is an effect, right? So, ladies, why are you trying to live vicariously through Laura Harvey? Because we have seen this story play out so many times. And women understand this, and I'm a harp on this. I'm going to beat the drum on this, right? Time is your enemy. Women become of age like 21, 22. They need to be looking at that point. Shout out to TBA. The most crucial decision a woman can ever make. Listen at me. Do you understand the words of that are coming out of my mouth? The most crucial decision a woman can ever make is the man she hook her wagon to. God, I know you ain't want to hear it, but it's the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. You heard me. Let me repeat that. The most crucial decision a woman can ever make is not her job, it's not her career, it's not where she went to college at, none of the above. It's the man she hook her wagon to. It's the man. Because if you notice something, follow me, follow me. Just pay attention to this family. Look at the women that try to take up the man role, the burden of performance. Look at their life. They stressed out. They complaining all the time. They need mental days constantly. And if you pay close attention, a lot of women are dying earlier because there is no man in her life or either a man that's taking care of her. Cause a man is a workhorse. Did you hear me? You are not a workhorse. You work, but you're not a workhorse. A man was built for a tough to work. White collar, blue collar, no collar, whatever collar. He's built for it. You weren't built like that. And that's not a slide or either a diss, all right? I'm just giving you the facts. And if you notice, women are dying earlier that try to take on the men role because it's stressful. You ain't built to handle stress like that. We built different and that's okay. And whenever somebody's trying to tell you, oh, you just trying to steal my joy. And you just want to be controlling over women. If you view men as being controlling and all of that, the best thing you can do is just be independent and do your thing. That's what I say, right? But yes, stop trying to live vicariously through Laura. Laura could possibly get her another high value man. But the average day woman, you don't have choices like that. If you find a guy that's a square, he could even be a nerd. God almighty, I'ma just keep going. He might be a nerd, cause I was about to end it, but I'ma keep going. Cause I feel this thing, huh? You heard me? I feel this thing now. And it's okay to be a nerd because most people got a misconception of what a nerd is. They are several different kinds of nerds. They are subsets of nerds. They are what the common person think about is the incel. I might be considered to be a nerd because I have a lot of book smarts, but I also have a lot of street smarts because I've been on both ends. I have the best of both worlds. I got book smarts and I know about the streets. I did them both. You heard me. So when most people think about a nerd, they just think about a guy with glasses on like Steve Urkel. But that's not true. But ladies, if you find a nerd, and this guy might be an engineer, he could be a lawyer, he could be a doctor, he could be a nuclear physicist, mm, or what have you. See, the problem is, is that you looking at the nerd as being bored, he's a square, he's all of these things. But that's a good thing, because the nerd don't have no experience. Let me put you up on some game, ladies. Because the nerd don't have no experience. That's the one right there, ladies that will love you to death and do anything for you. A nerd is not gonna cheat on you cause you probably gonna be the best thing that he ever had. Oh God, I'm giving up a little bit too much game. This man is gonna be loyal to you. If the man can't dress properly, there is ways to coerce. All that you have to say is, babe, you know what, sweetie? I really do like this on you. Men are very simple creatures. I'm trying to tell you, we simple. You make it hard. Shout out to Lauren Hill. Loving you is like a battle. 
and we both end up with scars. <laughs> but you know what? I'm about to end it right here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, family. Go ahead and click it and come on back to see. Hit the share button. I appreciate y'all guys. Hit the like button. And comment, y'all, because I'll be cracking up in the comment section. And support my channel with the cash app right there. You see my name on it. Drummer, 198. Go ahead and click it for me. There is another option on a video called the Super Thanks. Go ahead and click that, and you can support me as well. Thank you for rocking with me, and I do appreciate you from the heart, all right? And remember, there is more. Peace.